Ang marinduke, in one word, ay puso. Yan. Kalmado. Kalmado. Marinduke is peaceful. Yeah. Peaceful. Marinduke is uh, tahimik. Have you ever been in love? Aside from invoking strong emotions and desire, it is an adventure that takes series of stages. Good thing, Love Month is approaching. So let's start it all at the heart of the Philippines, the wonderful island of Marinduque. Marinduque's name originated from the word Malandik, that translate to elegant, in which we find is true. Right from the port of Balanacan, a picturesque port, we are already enticed to explore this island. It's been several years since I have been to Marinduque, and I'm impressed on the improvement they have made to the port. <laughs> Hello, Kyoti Pai. Na ako na. Alright, nakarating na tayo sa Marinduque. Yes. Finally, nakarating na din sa first island, si Maxine. Hindi nga lang namin siya nakasama nung Pindoro. Medyo disorganized lang tong shipping line na tong gulo. <laughs> gulo na sistema. Star Horse. Kagulo. This was also Maxine's first inter-island travel. Let's see if she can tackle Marinduque and bring us to different places. Kumustang Roro ride? Ayos. Masaya, masaya, masaya. Tulog lang eh. Oo, oh, may mga ano, may, may bunk bed nga na uh, nabanggit mo. So, pag uwi natin, subukan natin yan. Doon tayo. Kung ito pa rin sa sakin na. Yes. Huwag lang tayo. Huwag yung Montenegro. Baka sa Montenegro, wala eh. Huwag na Montenegro. <laughs> Talaga ako ay madedemonetize sa mga kasabihin niyo. Kasi ito ako kalabot eh. Nasaan ka si Mac? Hindi ko nasa labas si Lobo eh. Kung tayo sa bagong segment, kung tawagin ay Finding Mac. Kasama na kami. Ayun na nga! Ang galig! Ano pa rin siya nakapunta doon? Ay lokal kayo rito, magtatanong saan na kami ng mga mapupuntaan eh. So, magpipicture lang kayo doon, video ko kasama. Honestly, Marinduque is a mystery. There's very few details about this island, like tourist attractions or destinations, which added to its allure to our team. The road of this island is winding, twisties are narrow and steep, which makes it more harder to steer Maxine. The scenery is dotted with magnificent view of the sea, luscious green rice paddies blended with the tranquil turquoise shade of the sea. The feeling is both warm and inviting. Robert. 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 Robert from? Paranaque. Yun na man. Oh, binike lang niya. Ang paano. Tapos mga ito, nakikisakay lang. Panireklamo ito. As we entered the first town from the port, we are greeted by several ancestral houses giving out the vegan or tal vibes. Then, something caught our attention. The decadent smell of freshly fried chicken. We had to investigate. Yan na, yan na. Ito rin babagong luto? O kanina pa? Pag di mo yun at i-bumplik. Basta Thai sa ka-wings. Anong gusto nyo part? Sa Thai po, isang... Hindi natin palalampasin yan. So, parang tradisyon na namin yan eh. Tuwing nag-island kami, naghanap kami ng fried chicken. Tingnan natin kung tatapad ang banito yung kinain namin sa Mindoro. Kanto fried chicken. Ano, natatakam ka na? Ito <laughs> niyo. Comment of truth? Comment of truth? Ayun, mga nagagawa ko naman ng crazy para madali. Dito na natin lang. Sarap. Nakapaso lang. Sarap ka. Sarap. Sarap na. Sarap ng gravy. Promise. Sheeeeee! Juicy. Masawsaw mo dito. Ate, yung sukli po namin sa salibo. Ah, wala man. KFC number one! Nagayin mo na! <laughs> After that scrumptious meal, we headed to the town proper of Poac. We were advised to taste the famous kari-kari by Kusina sa Plaza. 
Let's see what's the fuss is about. Titikman natin yung kari kari. Since 1984 pa daw. Ganda maganda tumbayan nito. Ang lakas maka ano vegan vibes. Apat na kari kari, apat na kari. Dalawang halo-halo. Apat. Let's go to the next one. 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 Let's go to Maano mo siya talaga na dinuguan? Mga kategory. Oh, may mga intestine daw siya nakasama. Oh! Gout! Yeah. And then gout! Napipigyan na natin tayo. Ayan. Yami pa din yan. Mm. Nakupuha niya natin yung kalahati yan yung after eh. Oo! Hindi ko nakupuha. Fresh fries eh, no? Hmm. Sa? Shoutout na kay Topper. Yun, oh! Tikman natin yan! Tikman natin yan! Kasi na yung ano? Dinuguan sa Pangasinan. Minus na papaya. Sayang o, tits at angkol, wala kayo. Kasama kayo eh, food trip tayo dito. So, itong meal na ito is 80 pesos yung kakal. Ah, gano'n sa ipos. Tapos yan natin yun. Check muna. Inggitin ko muna asawa. Mandatory yun, kailangan inggitin ng asawa. Now, back to the regular programming. After that jovial meal, we were itching to explore upstairs or Casa Don Emilio as it was aptly named. I'm really fascinated with Spanish style houses, how it stood the test of time with only wood as its primary material. I love the ambience inside, like time traveling to the past. Picture mo na tayo. Marinduque, ng 1500s, Rubinsya ng Batangas. Yung Spanish siya na era. Then after noon, napunta siya sa Mindoro. During American, doon siya naging Marinduque mismo na sariling probinsya. At then naninumala ka. Alright. Boac is a coastal town, hot and humid. But inside this house, it's really comfortable. After that short tour, we headed to the famous Boa Cathedral, situated at the top of the hill. Welcome to Boa Cathedral. According to legends, it was used as refuge by natives against pirate attacks. Due to the lack of information gathered prior, my team decided to circumnavigate this island and stop at any attraction we spotted along the way. But before doing so, we bought supplies for our dinner camp tonight. The trip down south was hot and humid due to its close proximity with the sea. Not to mention we were traveling at the western side of the island, but the view of the sea is breathtaking enough to ease us of our agony. We arrived at Malbog Sulfuric Hot Spring. It is quite hard to find due to the lack of signage. The stench of the sulfur seeps out of the said spring. We declined taking a dip because the sulfur scent would stick onto our skin for a few days. Malbog Hot Spring. Sabi nila eh, kumakapit yung amin ng sulfur. Actually, maraming spring hindi to sa lugar pati to doon yung cheapest. Silipin lang natin. Itlog. Itlog na itlog. All right. Yan yung tinatawag nilang elepante sa island. So, may boat ride, one pipe daw. Kaso, bawal daw pasukin. Sayang. Bakit daw bawal pasukin? Koreano daw may-ari. Kensya na! Press ko hangin dito. Kaso, parang walang tubig. As we pressed on further down south, we spotted a plantation of Glycidia sepium, also known as Madre Cacao locally. We find its pink flower reminiscent of the famous cherry blossoms of Japan. We had to get high up in the air to get a glimpse of its beauty. And we finally reached Parinduque Boulevard, located at the southeastern tip of the island. It is still under development, but the view of the sea is reminiscent of the famous Patapat Viaduct of the north, which is breathtaking. sa town ng Torrijos. May marching band. And we 
spotted a Mariones mask factory, a paper mache mask that looks like a Roman legion. It is used during the Lenten season to recreate the crucifixion of Christ. I am complete, man. Oh, complete, yeah. Two five, yeah, no. Marin tawo kasi sikat sa mga Mariones, kaya para paper mache. Ito yung pagawa ng mga mask ng paper mache. So tama? Pasapa. Pwede, pwede. Dito ni Doc yung ano pwede pang magsabi sa hamak siya. Pop 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 pop. Gulat ako kalok tatawb. And we wound up at Poktoy White Beach. This is where we decided to camp for the night and call it a day. Good thing there are trees around where we could hang our hammocks to sleep. But before we hit the bed, our resident chef Arden made us a tasty meal. He brought succulent langonisa from his hometown for us to relish. Nothing refreshes a weary soul with mouth-watering dinner. Pusog yarn. Pusog. Grabe, sarap. Panghangalang. Thank you sa nagluto. Mark also brought his ever-trusty Bluetti to provide light and charge our gadgets. We accomplished a lot for today. May we get well-rested to face another challenge tomorrow.